Hi everyone, welcome to Dental Vibes. This is Carla and today Gabby and I are very excited to share with you our composite restoration procedure video recorded by Dr. Angulo and featuring our Solea CO2 laser. We'll show you each step of the procedure from the beginning cavity until the final rest and restoration. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Our recording doesn't really show us giving an aesthetic to the patient because sometimes when we plan to use the solia, we don't have to give an aesthetic, but you wanna make sure you have that ready for your doctor in your setup. Right away, the doctor starts with the carriage removal. In this video, you will see a combination of using burst and the solea laser. I'm not gonna go over our burr kit because that can change depending on what your doctor likes to use. However, for a simple feeling like this one, there are some common burrs that you may need for any resin, such as a 330, a 245, maybe a 557 or a round carbide burr. And then to finish off the feeling, you may need like a football carbide and some polishing cups. If you'd like to learn more about the actual setup for a composite procedure, we have a separate video for that and I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. Now we're gonna start seeing the CO2 Solea laser in action. And here's just a quick picture of Dr. Angulo using it and recording some procedure videos. Now, the Solea is an all tissue laser, so we can use it for things like uh, gingivectomy, but also in this case for carriage removal and they say that what it's doing, it's vaporizing the enamel to finish excavating the decay. I do love the Solea, but uh, it's a little tedious to carry from room to room because it's so heavy, and I know that it's a very expensive piece of equipment that we're not allowed to break. <laughs> so if you wanna learn more about the Solea, you can check out their website for more info. As you can see in this video, we're using our dry shield and I've also worked with the Isolite system and I love them both, especially when working on the lower arch because it helps retract the tongue, it suctions really well and helps keep everything isolated very nicely. Um, but if you wanna see us in action, we do have a separate video on dental suctioning techniques. I'm gonna leave the link below and I may try to do another procedure video where we're actually uh, using the high suction and all of that. Once the doctor has verified that all the decay has been removed, we're gonna start the process of etching. In this case, it's selective etching. So the edge is being applied for about 15 seconds only over the enamel. And what the edge is doing is basically roughing up that enamel so that we can have a good bonding surface. Then we're gonna rinse the tooth really well and we're gonna start the process of isolation and drying. And this is really where the dry shield is gonna help us isolate really well. Then we're gonna start the process of applying the primer and bond. This video shows a two-step technique. So the primer is being applied for 20 seconds, air dried, and then the bonding is gonna be applied for about 15 seconds, air dried and cure before start building up the tooth with the resin. Now, I wanna highlight here something that Gabby and I are always reinforcing, is that you have to know the dental materials being used in your office. So if you don't know about a specific product, make sure you always read it and know how to use it, your setting times, of course. That way it's just gonna make it easier uh, when you start setting up for the procedure in your assisting chair side. So you just saw the doctor apply a layer of flowable and now it's applying some composite. There are different instruments used to spread and shape the composite. Uh, we talk more about those in our composite setup video that I mentioned earlier. This one is just a simple fusel, so nothing much is happening. Once the resin has been placed, we're going to light cure it and the doctor is gonna double check with the explorer to make sure that the resin in fact is fully cured. We're gonna remove the dry shield and check the occlusion. The doctor will start adjusting those high spots and do some polishing. Also, we'll do some flossing around the tooth to make sure that any flash from the bonding has been removed and we'll give our patient one last rinse. 
So I'm just gonna leave you guys finish watching this last bit of the video. Let us know in the comments below which other procedure video you would like to watch and I will see you guys next time. Keep smiling!